Today, I <clears throat> drove out toward the California border for an hour to visit Ivanpa, which is a great example of cooperation with NRG, Google, BrightSource, the contractor Bechtel and others. They have loans guaranteed by the DOE, and they got guaranteed power supply contracts from California because California has a renewable energy standard of 33% to meet. They, so there's, there you go, cooperation between government and the private sector and nonprofits. There were more than 2,000 people working there. And it was fascinating to me. They, they were white, African-American, Latino, Asian, lots of women. Two a lot of them hadn't worked in a year or two before they got this job. And a lot of them had very impressive tattoos. <laughs> we ought to have, those of us in this green energy field, we ought to have a tattoo test. The more people with visible, impressive tattoos who advocate green energy and understand what it does for a country's economy, what it does for its independence, and what it does in the fight against climate change, the more we're going to have success in Washington, D.C. <laughs> You're laughing, but I'm telling the truth, and you know it. You should have seen it. I mean, it was amazing. I stopped. I shook hands with hundreds of people today. I asked them their stories. I talked to them. They got what they were doing. It's a huge solar thermal operation. There are going to be, I think, um, 173,000 flat panel, 10 panel solar reflectors beaming up to a tower over 350 feet above the earth, turning water into steam, running the steam down back to the bottom of the tower and turning turbines. And uh, it's truly impressive. But we could have a hundred of them and not just one or two. There's another one with their technology going on in uh, California. And <clears throat> interestingly enough, a lot of the technology came from Israel. So there was, the equipment came from Germany and Japan and some that was designed on site. And these people were so proud. Once people see sustainable economics as the primary instrument of people having something to look forward to when they get up in the morning, we are on the way home. The important thing is we need a bias for action, a bias for cooperation and a bias for thinking big, even if we have to act small, because it's the power of example that changes consciousness. Think about the tattoos. You win a tattooed vote, we'll have the damnedest environmental policy in the United States you ever saw. Thank you very much. Thank you.